I like to test my instincts when I practice with the Charleston modeling exercises. In this exercise that I call Charleston chain reaction, I pick one direction and then I use the same tiles and go another direction and then compare results just to test my instincts. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Let's do some chain reaction. We're going to say we're the dealer. So I'm going to take 14 tiles. And I'm going to create a mock Charleston with tiles after I remove Joker. So I have a whole bunch of tiles here. I'm going to look in here for the Jokers and take them out because you want to be able to recreate the Charleston with the same tiles. And if you have Jokers in here that you have to exchange, that's going to mess it up. There was only one. So now I'm going to mix these up and from these tiles where I know there's no Jokers, I'll create the mock Charleston. Okay, so there's our mock Charleston. This is just for practice. It is not meant to be exactly like it would be in a live game. Okay, here we go. No multiples. So we're going to pick as many tiles as we can and pick a category that uses those tiles. So I think a 2468 hand is going to be the best. We have one, two, three, four, five. If we did six, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven, eight, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe six, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven, eight will be better. We're in between consecutive with five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, or evens. I think we could probably give up the nine bam and focus on either evens or five, six, seven, eight. We really don't need this one though. Evens or five, six, seven, eight. We have one flower. I was thinking that maybe we could do an addition hand, but we need a lot more flowers and a lot more multiples and we have no two. If we have an eight dot eight four one let's keep the one and pass these three let's see what we get oh you know what i need to take photos because we got to recreate this okay now we can pass all right let's take a photo of that we got a seven and a flower. So now we got our first multiple. Whatever we do, we're gonna try to use the flower. We have a seven here, seven, eight. I think consecutive is gonna be better than evens. We could probably give up the four and the one and focus on five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, something like that. Let's go ahead and discard these three. We'll take a photo of that. We got a seven and a flower. And we have two tiles to pass. So now we have another multiple, the sevens. So we have four flowers and a seven. Let's look at addition. We need a five, which I passed. No, here's a five. We passed the one dot. We have no two. I think I will save that five just in case. So let's look and see what else we can do. 
You know what I was thinking? Oh, no, no. I was thinking we'd do the 998 pair hand, the second from the bottom under singles and pairs, but we'd have to throw away all these flowers. I want to leverage those flowers. We could do, let's see, 7 8. There's a 7 8 concealed hand with two flowers. There's three flower hands in consecutive. I think we should focus on consecutive. So let's go ahead and discard the six dot. We'll keep the five. Maybe the addition hand will come in. Let's throw those away. Let's take a photo of that. Okay, now we have an eight and another flower. We have four flowers now. Four flowers. We've got to use those flowers. Our multiples are eights and sevens. So there's no consecutive hand that uses eights and sevens consecutive mixed suit with four flowers. So if we do something with lots of flowers, I'm thinking like numbers, we do have all the eights. We have all the eights and all those flowers. Eights with flowers. This would be the second hand down. We don't need all the eights though. Let's keep the seven. If we have seven, eight, seven, eight. Let's give up the eight dot because we could play the consecutive seven, eight hand with two flowers and use these as joker bait. Let's see if there's anything else we can do with four flowers or three flowers even. There are some hands with three flowers. Okay, I think we could go ahead and get rid of these. We'll take a photo there. So now we have a seven. So here's seven, eight, oops. Seven, eight, seven, eight, two flowers. And we're on an obligatory pass. Seven, eight, this is getting close to the concealed hand under consecutive run. And we are on an obligatory pass. Sevens, hold the eights as joker bait. So sevens with flowers. That way we don't pass a flower. They're very valuable. So we're gonna play sevens. We'll take a, or a photo. Let's take a photo. And we have tiles we can pass. I think I'll keep this as joker bait, or we could maybe go back to using them potentially. Oh look, seven, eight, we could use these as joker bait. The third hand down under consecutive run only uses two flowers though. We would have, we would have to get rid of these and these. I think we're better off playing all sevens and just getting rid of one pair. Let's go ahead and pass the green dragon. Oh, there's a seven. And I think we could go ahead. Oh, you know what? We gotta take a photo. Okay, now we'll keep it and break up that pair. I'm gonna risk passing two wins because we're getting close. Ooh, we got Joker bait. So two discards, Joker bait, and this hand is set. We need six flowers. We could Pung, Pung, Kong, Kong. We're set with four discards, including Joker bait. So I don't remember if I took a photo, so I'm gonna take another photo. And now let's rebuild and see if something else would have been better. I think a consecutive hand. So we have four discards with joker bait. Let's see if we could do better with something with consecutive run. Yeah. 
or 2468. That's what we started with right there. I'm going to build the Charleston now. Okay, there's the Charleston. So let's see if we can do better with either 2468, maybe even a pair hand. The pair hand with pairs of the same even number, the second one down, we have a flower. We'd have to throw away the joker though. There is a 2468 hand with the dragon. So let's keep the dragon for 2468. Let's focus on 2468. Let's get rid of one wind, a seven, and a one. Mix suits, and that leaves a good second pass too. Okay, 2468. We got a flower. We don't have to pick a hand because we have discards. Let's pass these three. Another flower. We don't have to pick a hand because we've got discards. Another flower and an eight. And we have discards here. I really am going to try not to pass wins with dragons, especially in north with a red, because that first hand under wins and dragons uses north with reds. So let's see if we... Yeah, I don't want to pass flower. I think I'm going to risk it and pass it. There's a good, better, best. Okay, no dis no keepers. Pass it. Oh, we got a two and a six. And we have one tile. Now we pick a hand. So we have four flowers. This two is really not very helpful, is it? I think we could give up the two. I'm thinking the two, four, six, eight pair hand and use those as discards. Let's, let's do uh, one blind. Let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna pass two and one blind. Okay, we've got discards. We'll pass two. Okay, we're, well, I think here we have five, if we're playing a pair hand, we've got five discards, including joker bait, but we're playing a pair hand. We don't need jokers. So I want to see if we could use the flowers. I'm thinking like numbers with eights, use these as joker bait. We have three discards. I'd hold the, the, the four dot for as long as possible. I think to leverage these flowers, I would still play like numbers, like numbers with eights. We could always switch to the flower hand for two, four, six, eight in dots. If we get twos, I'd start by discarding these. I think the first option, like numbers with sevens, was better. But this was only one more off of that. And there's a potential even for a pair hand, but we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers and a joker. I think like numbers with eights is probably the strongest possibility here. If you have a Mahjong set at home, give Charleston Chain Reaction a try and let me know what your results are. I really do think it's a great way to learn the different hands on the card because there are different, and there are two additional hands this year. So this is a great exercise to get to know all those combinations. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Chain Reaction for American Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.